I was happy with the uh, with um, the way the staff systems were combined. So I don't have I can skip a certain part of the process right now. I don't have to redo that again. I don't have to indicate again which staff systems to combine. I, I still have that in that information uh, um, handy that I can just call up from the from the DOS prompt. So I can actually skip a whole bunch of steps right now. I don't have to redo that again. Okay, so the, the, I'm skipping that the the file combination macros that I that I needed to generate in Microsoft Word and, and and all that, because I still have that information available because that is not changing. So now I just combine the uh, different staff systems into pages. Scroll will automatically exit as before. And, and then score was launched and it applies uh, an HS command to all files because now we have combined files that need to be given an HS command. Once it's done with that, it's going to exit automatically. And there it goes. Well, it does something who knows what. Um, and here we make what I hope to be our final PDF. We'll see. God only knows why it is that sometimes these EPS files get made faster than other times, but that's the way it is, and that seems a bit slow right now. But but it's okay. Almost there, page 30, and all done. It's distilling. And there's our final PDF. Now, let's have a look at some of these problem pages. There was uh, System 9. Aha. You remember, System 9 had only the first violin staff, and I told it to retain the combined cellos and bass staff, the viola and the uh, second violin staff. Uh, let's go to System 15. Ah, yeah. F system 15 used to have only a vocal staff down here at the bottom. And I said, no, let's, let's keep the cellos and bass staff. Uh, below that, as a, as a sort of a basement, I don't I just don't like this having a, a vocal staff on the bottom of a the system. Then we changed uh, system 34 to make uh, uh, make a matching page. Um, we added the empty staves 17 and 18, which are up here. We added them back in, and now you can see everything lines up nicely across the spread. Then staff system 41. Uh, we added back 
Steve's 10, 11, 12, 14, and 17. Um, yes, 10, 11, 12, you can see they're empty. 14 and 17, they're now in there, which means that it reads again nicely across the spread. And then the final staff system as well, which was staff system 47. We were missing the three vocal staves on the last system, and they're empty here, as you can see. Now they're back in. And you can verify real quick, 18, 18, 16, 16, 15, 15, 14, 14, 14 13, 13, 12, 12, and so they're all the way up and down the line. See, over here, I don't know, Page does that sometimes, I think. I have no, I have no idea why this happens. All the instrument labels have disappeared. That's really messed up. I have no idea why that is. They are present over here, but they're also quite small, and I don't really care about that anyway. I don't need, I don't need to know that. These, these big numbers are a lot easier for me to read, first of all, and secondly, it's these numbers that let me quickly navigate to the stays when I flag them for non-optimization within score. So here I knew it. I wanted to retain staves seven, eight, and nine. I, I, I didn't need need to know that staff seven is Alfredo and staff eight is Edemondo and staff nine is Emma. I didn't really need to know that. I needed to know staff seven, eight, and nine, and that's what these numbers are for for, for quick navigation within score. So, um, in any event, uh, I have these four PDFs still here. We, remember, we started with Adam and Eve, which was a page-generated uh, measure distribution, which, of course, was totally unmusical, uh, but which served as a sort of a, a cast-off tool where, with, with which I, when I, with, in which I determined my measure distribution. Then I, I um, fed the measure distribution into this Excel spreadsheet, Remember, I just typed the final target measure numbers into this column. It told me how many batches uh, I would feed um, into the page program, how many batches of top news files, which I then did. And then page generated another um, um, layout based upon the measure numbers that I gave. And, uh, and then the process automatically gen generated the second PDF, which gave me the measure distribution that I wanted to look at, which was this one. I was happy with that measure distribution. Um, then I said, okay, let's now optimize all, st all empty staves, which the process did automatically. Um, and out popped this particular PDF file, which showed, again, one staff system per page, but with all the empty staves thrown out. Then, in my Microsoft Word file, I indicated in this particular co column how many f uh, uh, files I wanted to co combine into pages, three, two, 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 all, and so on and so on, all the way down this column until I got to the last file. That then automated the process and gave me, you know, my fourth PDF. Well, I don't have that anymore because I, I've written over it, um, which, you know, showed me all, all the, st uh, the, st the, uh, the systems combined as I wanted them to combine and then allowed me to uh, examine which empty staves uh, that were optimized in, I in fact wanted to retain.